Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now it is a very cool spring morning here in my garden, but I'm bringing you this video today. I was intending to release this video as part of a large Q&A series of videos, but I've decided to break them up into individual days. So you've got something to look forward to each day. Now today's video is all around protecting your valuable winter woolies from those pesky moths that are always trying to eat our finest clothing. It was a question from a viewer, so enjoy. The first question comes from a viewer called Zidandi, who says, Hi Ash, any tips on how to store woolly winter garments now that the warmer months are fast approaching? The thought of moths getting at my pea coat terrifies me. As it does me, Zidandi, I have to admit, because in recent years I've heavily invested in natural materials, and of course, those natural materials, they are the favoured diet of our friend, the clothes moth. However, there are some simple things that you can do which will help you to stay free of your, your wardrobe disappearing in these warmer months. Now, the first of which is to be aware of what things in your wardrobe are natural materials and what things need special attention. Because if you treat everything the same in your wardrobe, you are laying yourself open to those pesky moths getting in there. So be conscious, first of all, of what is wool, what is cashmere, what things are blended, because those things do deserve special attention. The second thing you need to be aware of is that cleanliness is key when it comes to preventing the moths. All right, like, any, like anything that enjoys a, a, a meal, it's going to be attracted to things which smell good, which give off an odor. So if your, you know, your thick sweater has got particles of food in it, maybe crumbs or things like that, or it's got, uh, you know, some, um, <laughs> some tomato ketchup was spilled on it, you know, the last time you wore it, you need to make sure it's been cleaned before you put it away, because those things which are attractive in odor to us will also attract our enemy, the moth. Additionally, things like uh, sweat, all right, perspiration. If you've been wearing these garments and they've become a little soiled, all right, and they are maybe carrying a bit of odor, it is going to be something you need to deal with before you store them, because it is going to attract the moths. So make sure you get it cleaned, wash it, whatever process is necessary and appropriate for that garment, but put it through the old dry cleaners so it's going to be less attractive to the moth, because they love body oils, sweat, particles of food, things like that. They're gonna make a beeline for it. Keep it nice and clean. Um, proper storage is the best thing as well. Now, if you're going to store uh, your jumpers separately over the warmer months, put them in something like an airtight container. If you've got airtight storage boxes, that's good. It'll keep them out. Or if you don't, or space is a premium, you can put them in these bags these days that suck all the air out. No oxygen, nothing can live. Sucks it all out makes it all nice and small and easy to store as well. So think about the way you store it so that it is less possible for the moth to gain access to your highly valuable and lovely woolly items. Um, and moth repellents are also very effective. You can do things like, um, uh, you know, putting natural moth repellent in the bottom of your wardrobe, things like lavender and things like that prevent or deter the moth. Or alternatively, you can use commercial moth repellents, which are also going to be very effective too. So think about, you know, the deterrents, which will keep the moth away. Uh, the other thing you can do actually, which helps with a few of these things, if you're about to store your winter garments, um, you know, your woolies, one thing you can do is put them in the freezer. Right, so a day before you, free, you store them away, put them in the freezer. That'll make sure that anything within that sweater has been killed off. If there's any uh, lava, any bacteria, any sweat stains, give the item a good freezing. It'll kill anything off, and then you can store it in confidence that it is clear of any issues. Uh, and regular inspection. You know, keep, keep an eye on it. Check it out in the middle of the, uh, in the, middle of the summer season. You know, if it's in your wardrobe, just have a good look at it, see if there's any issues. It should help prevent any moth damage in the months ahead. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like this, 
click the old subscribe button and come on the journey towards Chap Nirvana with me. If you'd like to practically support the channel, you can either buy me a coffee, which is a one-off thing, or you can become a patron. And that way you will benefit from an additional video per week, which I make specially for my patrons. And of course, we also have an ongoing uh, intimate conversation over on the patron platform, which incidentally you can join without any financial cost at all. I will leave the link to that in the show notes below. So until the next time, take care and I will see you again very soon.